Hey everybody, welcome to Bird Tech. In this episode, I'm gonna be talking about the importance of customer service and Coinbase. All right, welcome back. First of this video, I wanna make sure you like, subscribe. The more subscribers you get, the more content we can make. Number one reason why you subscribe to this amazing YouTube channel is to get into the money-making trends before it goes mainstream. All right, welcome back. So Coinbase is in the news lately for not delivering customer service. And I shouldn't say lately, basically Coinbase has never had good customer service. And at some point in time, if you don't have good customer service, you can't move forward as a business. Now, of course, there's a huge difference from being Coinbase to being your your own startup to being your own one-man band. But let's talk a little bit about what customer service really does for your business. So if you want to start a business, you're going to have to do some kind of customer service. Now, the thing about customer service is not only does it drive sales, but it also retains customers and it also costs money. So you want to think of customer service as a profit generating service within your business. Now, the better customer service you have, the more money you will make. I guarantee this. However, one of the things that you will quickly learn if you ever start a business is that how much people just want to talk to you and how much customer service really does cost. Now, at Mammoth, I have basically done the minimum amount of customer service because in my particular industry, if there is too much customer service, I could go out of business. Now, there's a huge difference between what I'm doing and what Coinbase does, but I'm gonna talk a little bit about that. So, when it comes to customer service, you need to have at least the bare minimum. And Coinbase has way below the bare minimum at this point in time. But you need to have the bare minimum. And as your company grows, your customer service needs to grow as well. In fact, if you have really good customer service, what that will do is that will change to word of mouth and that word of mouth will lead more sales. Now, customer service is very tricky to get right. And if you are a CEO or are starting a business, you need to understand that you need to look at every single conversation that the customer service support is dealing with. And if things get out of hand, you need to deal with those personally yourself. Now, the best company that has ever done this is CD Baby. And if you haven't gone to Sivers.org or is it Sive.rs, it, whatever his new website is, I highly recommend and you read his blog articles about customer service. He does it the best. And it makes sense because the more customer service you have, the more profit you will make in the future. It really does equate to that. Now, the thing about customer service is that there are gonna be those people that will just completely drain a lot of the time of the customer service team. And notice how I use the word team. There will need to be a team of customer service people when you get bigger. So it's something that you need to plan it. But if you are a very small business, like you are basically making a website or a small software as a service, or you're kind of like a one man team making a game, it doesn't really matter how much customer service you have, as long as it's really the bare minimum, which at that point should be very low. When you first start a business, if it's only by yourself, you have to manage whatever it is you're doing. And oftentimes customer service takes the lowest priority. Now there are some people that really do put customer service and they spend all night just answering customer emails, and that actually is something that's really good. However, it can lead to diminishing returns, and at least in the case with Mammoth, I always prioritize making new content versus, let's say, having um, the better customer support, just because that was the way that I could make the most profit. So let's get back to Coinbase. Coinbase has way below the minimum standard of customer service for what it is. It's listed on the stock market and is probably one of the most popular cryptocurrencies exchange. And if you have terrible support at that level, you're really not doing something right. Now, I actually really like Coinbase, but here's the thing. Coinbase just recently got hacked and people can't get answers. That is really not good for two reasons. One, it says that there's some vulnerabilities within your platform, and two, people can't get answers. So that's really not good either. In fact, as soon as I read that article, I kind of want to pull all my crypto off of Coinbase and put it onto some other area. The thing is, is that Coinbase does have some security features in, and you should always put the maximum amount of features and security features within your Coinbase app. It should be really hard to do anything and really time consuming to do anything on Coinbase because there should be lots of two-factor authentications if you don't already have it. So if anyone is listening from Coinbase, I would add another level of security because Coinbase is quickly becoming the online international bank of the world. And instead of holding currency, they're holding cryptocurrency. And frankly, 
cryptocurrency is better than fiat anyway, so it's going to be one of the biggest institutions. So Coinbase really needs to up its support game. In fact, there are a lot of other exchanges that do a much better job at support like Kraken, and Kraken is a fairly good platform. In fact, I actually like it a little bit better than Coinbase. I just don't want to pay the fees to move all my Bitcoin to Kraken. Otherwise, I might just do it. Kraken does have a few problems though. You can't buy crypto on the app, which I really wish you could. Maybe I should do a review of Kraken very soon. Nevertheless, this is something that Coinbase really needs to address right away. After all, Coinbase is listed on the stock market and there are going to be investors that understand that having way below the bare minimum of customer support is frankly not good for business. Now, of course, what Coinbase should do is at least bring it up to the bare minimum, that is answering their emails at all. That should be the bare minimum. The second thing that they should do is probably have a live chat. Now, if Coinbase doesn't have a live chat by the end of the year, well, it's probably not gonna be good on their bottom line. Now, my particular business, I always wanted to have a live chat. I tried it for a bit, but it actually didn't really do much. But again, my business is a little bit different from Coinbase's. Coinbase's is a fairly big institution and it probably needs a live chat. Now, will it get one by the end of the year? Probably not, although it definitely should have at least a live chat. So if you ever strike it rich and get a lot of money, then it's best to hire a good support team. And that support team will be needed and will probably drive even more sales. But at the same time, it does show you that you can get to the level that Coinbase is at and have terrible customer service. So is customer service worthwhile? Well, I would say it's a balance. It's possible to do too much customer service and it will drain your money because the thing about customer service is that there will be people that will drain absolutely all of your time and money with those support tickets. So you usually need to find the right balance and the right balance usually should mean at least someone answering your questions within one business day. That is probably the bare minimum that any business should have. If it's not one business day, it's maybe two business days. Now, of course, a business day isn't a calendar day. So if a person gets uh, a email to the customer service team on Friday, you could get it on Monday. But if Monday's a holiday, it could be three days and answering it on Tuesday. So I usually like the one business day rule. You should basically be able to get one business day answered, and if you don't get that answered, well, that's probably a problem. And in Coinbase's situation, well, and not answering things at all is definitely not good for business. And I don't expect the stock to do very well unless Bitcoin does very well. And here's the thing, if Coinbase's customer service is better in the future and Bitcoin goes up, that will be a multiplier. But if it stays the same, well, then that's going to diminish the returns if Bitcoin does in fact moon this year. All right, so that concludes this video. I wanna know your comments down below. What is the bare minimum of support? What's the best customer support you ever have and which company? Please write the comments down below. Remember, this channel doesn't do a Patreon said we sell our digital products down below. The more we get up with the content that you buy below, the more content on this channel we can make. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.